Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and today we're going to go over which does earn their stars in 2022, but first make sure you're subscribed. So just a quick overview on the different types of ways that the goats can actually earn their milk star. Uh, there is a one day milk test and they have to earn in three different areas. They have to get a certain amount of points and that is uh, calculated on their butter fat percentage, how many pounds of milk they weighed in the two milkings, as well as how many days in milk. So that would be the one day um, milk star and it's very, very hard for them to earn on a one day. They just have to really prove themselves. The other type of milk test you can put your herd on is a DHIR, which is the Dairy Herd Improvement Registry. So you're registering your herd to do an extended lactation um, and you're going to send in eight different tests to a lab. You're going to weigh them, uh, weigh their samples, how much milk they, they produced for you, and they are going to check the butter fat and the protein. So in Champ's pen we have Cammie here and Abilene right there. And both of these does actually earned their milk star on a one day milk test. So, and they were two years old when they earned their star. And these two lovely girls, Ray and Ruger, um, they don't have an udder so yet. Uh, obviously they weren't put on milk test, but if they do get put on milk test, they're gonna have the potential to be a three star milker. So what a three star milker means is just it, they could be the third generation in a, in a row to have earned their milk stars. So Old Champ here has also earned a title. Um, now he has had three daughters from three different dams that have earned their milk star. So then that in turn gives him a plus B title, which is a pretty amazing title for a buck to get. So in Vader's pen here, we have our youngest doe right here is Leia. Oh, you all just want to be talked about, don't you? So Leia obviously does not have an udder yet, um, but <clears throat> she has the potential to be a six star milker meaning she'll be the sixth generation in a row to have earned her star so that's pretty impressive so pretty miss lily here um, she earned her milk star on a one day milk test as a three-year-old um, and she is a five star milker so this girl here puts a lot of milk in the pail don't you and then this is dreamer so dreamer um, earned her milk star on the DHIR test and she earned it on butter fat and protein um, so she was two obviously when that happened and she is going to be a four star milker and then we have Lidai. Now Lidai is the highest number in the herd. She has earned her um, star on butter fat and protein and she's gonna she is a seven star milker now. So then we have Bessie here um, and she did earn her her star on butter fat and protein and she is a two-star milker. Girls. And this here is Mayo. She is our grand champion Mayo. She uh, earned her milk star as a three-year-old on a one-day milk test. And she is a three-star milker. She is amazing. And lastly, we have Cassie here. So she did earn her milk star as a three-year-old um, on a one-day milk test and she is a two-star milker. All right, so now we are in Legend's pen. Hopefully he lets me stay in here long enough to, to tell you guys, so. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I don't believe that. <laughs> He's over here smirking. <laughs> I finally got my Swiss dough. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lamb? Yeah. It's so you can see. <laughs> this guy. Where did he come up with those like so fast? There, now you can see. That is really cool actually. C also stands for cool. Bro, stop. Cool your beans. That's so clever. Right? <laughs> what is that? How'd they even do that? All right, so first up is Mia. Now, Mia doesn't have an udder, so she hasn't been on milk test, but she has the potential to be a four star milker, and I have no doubt she is going to achieve that. And since, Lucky, or since Legend is right here being a butt, he is a star B buckling. 
Now for the Buckling to earn their Star B title, um, they're gonna get it from their parents. So his mom had her star as well as his sire's dam. So both of them have to have their stars and then it'll follow through to the books. Daisy up here, she earned her milk star um, last year and she is now gonna, she is now a four star milker and she earned her, her star on butterfat and protein. So this here is Dinky and she is a five star milker now. So she earned her title on butterfat and protein this past year. Here we got our lovely champ May and she earned her milk star as a two, a three year old rather. And she is a two star milker. And there's her daughter Maddie. And she earned her star as a five year old. And she is a three star milker. And here is Pretty Tippy. Uh, she did earn her milk star this past year. She is a two star milker. And she earned it on butterfat and protein. <laughs> All right, so these goats have one more day penned up together. Um, the bucks are going to be separated tomorrow from the does, and I, for one, am very excited for it to have my does back so I don't have to deal with this stuff, huh? Huh, Leggy? Fluff ball. Look at him. You're such a kid, legend. <laughs> Uh-huh. This here is Honey. Um, now she does not have her udder yet, obviously, but she will have the potential to be a two-star milker. And since Lucky's right here bugging me, what are you doing, Lucky? He <laughs> also has some, some milk titles. Lucky has his Star B title from his parents, and he also has his Plus B title uh, because he has three daughters from three different dams that have earned their milk star. Are you gonna let me talk about these girls? And then there is our famous adorable Henri Lodi, and she has earned her star on butterfat and protein, and she is now a six star milker. Yeah, you are, girl. And then we have this adorable doe right here. Her name is Wildy. Um, now she has earned her milk star, and she's a one star milker on butterfat and protein. <laughs> All right, so that is the milk stars for our herd. So every doe in our herd that has an udder has earned their milk star. And that's just a really, really awesome feeling. You put a lot of time and effort into your herd. Um, and of course they have to have great milk genetics behind them to be able to earn their stars. But either way, I'm very, very proud of the herd. All right guys, so it's been quite a while since we've made some soap together, so let's get soaping. Uh, today I am going to make a very awesome soap called our Lemon Lime Soap. So, to get started, I'm going to check my oils. So, first off, I have all of my oils here, my special organic blend. And I'm going to check the temperature because I like to make sure it is as cooled as possible because it makes a prettier soap and we're at 69 degrees so that is perfect and then so we have some ingredients we're going to put in here before we actually add the lye so here is my lemon and lime peel that i dehydrated and uh, just ground it up super super fine because it gives it just a really awesome exfoliant to the soap so we're going to put that in there and it also smells super lemony limony and sweet, I just love it. Okay, now our organic essential oil of lemon and lime, which also smells amazing. I love the citrus soaps. And lastly for this step, we are going to pour in the ladies' lovely goat milk. See all those butter fat chunks. All right, so now I'm just gonna blend this up really good.
now for the lie. All right, we're about to have some soap magic. Give it a little stir. And I'm just going to blend this until it is just completely um, mixed. Because I gotta do a little more mixing once I separate for different colors. Okay, now once you see it change that color, you guys saw the, the different color change, you know it's all completely mixed, the, the lye and the oils. Um, so I'm going to pour some of this into a container. So for the green portion of this soap, I just have some green clay and some organic spirulina. It's gonna be a beautiful green. And I'm just gonna fill this bad boy up here. as much as to the tippy top as I can. Okay, so I'll just scrape down the side here. So before I do that, um, I'm using a Notto for the yellow coloring. If, if you guys see, just take another look here for me, it is kind of yellow already, but once it saponifies, that'll really, really lighten up. So I wanna make sure it still gets a yellow color, and a Notto is a really awesome natural uh, colorant if you have the top cut off. Scissors! So. Should I do that again? Oh. Huh? <laughs> so Nato is a really super awesome natural colorant. Um, and it just, depending on how much you want to use. Okay, there. Um, you can get from a yellow to even a dark orange. Okay, since this is going to be the lighter of the two, I'm going to start mixing this just until blended. good and as it sits here and I'm mixing this one it's gonna start thickening up which is which is good a little bit anyway So if you see that pretty yellow, and again, that's gonna lighten up just a bit once it saponifies, and then this green, that's gonna be a lot darker. So it's funny how the natural colors work. You just, some uh, get lighter, some get darker, and they sometimes change completely. So I'm gonna pour this into the yellow portion of the soap, and it's gonna give it like a swirly um, look. So just kinda go around and around, back and forth. 
and it smells amazing. And now I pour it into the molds. Just a little more. Nice. All right, so for my topping, it's just a little bit too runny. So I'm gonna give it just a few minutes and clean some stuff up while it thickens up a little. All right, so I just tested it and the soap is perfect for topping it. So come on, I'll show you how I do it. So it just gets three swipes across the top all the way down. Smells so good. Boom. All right, you guys, so that is it for these soaps. In about five to six weeks, they're gonna be listed on the Etsy shop. Until then, there's plenty of soaps to choose from, so make sure you go get some. Other than that, we will see you guys again soon. This summer, Blue Cactus Dairy Goats is showing nationwide. Join us as we travel across America. You've watched us raise our goats. You've watched us build our herd. Now watch us compete in 16 different dairy goat shows across the country. See how we stack up against herds from other areas. Of course, this is a team effort and we could use your help. Join our team by subscribing to our channel. Leave a comment, click the like button, show grandma how to find our videos. If you can, join Patreon. Patrons are invited to meet us at the shows. Blue Cactus Dairy Goats, it's showtime.